were you around when Faith Evans was in the studio? I seen Faith in the studio. I didn't record Faith, but I, I had seen her in there like once or nothing. But it was like not really like I didn't see her for extensive times. So I didn't really no, I didn't really see her in there for like as much to really say anything about it or anything like that. You know? Okay, because she she just recently wrote a new book saying how Tupac like hit her or something. You know. Well, I don't know. I never saw him Pop do that. You know, I saw Pop, you know, he would come in. I mean, he might have just had dinner with her or, like, whatever. He got out, like, they were in the car or whatever. You know, I don't know. I think he was with her. But I didn't, like, he didn't bring her in the studio and they just start fighting or nothing like that. No, you know, it wasn't like that. Okay. What are you currently involved in now, DC? Or what, what artist do you work with now? Oh, I'm, I'm still working with Snow. And I'm opening a studio in Burbank right now with an SSL board, you know, a real nice mixing studio with a couple production studios in the back. And uh, actually, that's what I'm about to do right after this interview is go get the keys to that place for the first time and go uh, go get this thing back in. So by next year, I'm going to have a studio totally popping. You know, in the meantime, I'm working with some artists, some independent artists, um, some people that are, you know, uh, you know, on internet artists, just grabbing some internet artists off of the internet who's making videos and, and, and making them a star. You know, no, that's not quite where we're going with this. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> you know, if you want to make some good music, you want to get in the studio. And once I open up the studio, especially, you know, and definitely internet artists, everyone's invited to come and partake, you know, and be a part of the whole scene, you know, but you've got to have a plan and you got to have a budget to work with where we're not going to be able to really get any good quality music done you know so where do you see yourself in 10 years still doing the same thing in 10 years I'm going to have this studio totally cracking maybe another one could be I have a few ties with an industry uh, in label or something like that you know maybe be a part of a label maybe have my own label you know, I really am not considering much of that right now. I'm really just trying to get this studio, and I do a lot of education for music production, and I can see that aspect of it growing as well, you know. So maybe I'll even have, like, a recording school as this studio progresses and might turn into that and have, like, a whole other studio for making music. So, you know, there's a couple different options there for the 10-year plan. But, you know, right now I'm working on this 2011 plan of just making this studio really everything it can be, you know, because I'm not going to be the only one working there, you know, I want to rent it out to other engineers, other mixers, other producers, and this and that, you know, so, you know, we can really keep a nice flow of in-house music going on over there, you know. You know I've been working with, like, uh, this girl Kaya from Florida who's real good, she's a pop artist, you know, like, she's trying to get her whole internet thing and her internet crowd and a buzz together you know so we're trying to work on her stuff you know but it's more pop you know but you know as far as my associate has a band called Cicero that he's working with it's it's uh more pop and R&B you know and we're, we're doing stuff with that as far as like you know just up things you know I'm trying to get like the new uh we might do some work with on a new Sublime record as it comes out. I don't know. I'm just connecting with a lot of different artists right now, trying to see what's going to be in, in store for 2011 since 2010 is kind of coming to a close right now. You know, at the same time, I'm, I'm always on tour with Snoop, and I, I mix his shows so that they always sound proper. And, you know, uh, everybody's invited out there and say what's up to me at the soundboard when I'm there, you know? So... You know, you can come see a Snoop show. He's always performing somewhere near you. I got, a, I got a couple more minutes if you want to ask a few more things. How do you feel about Tupac's latest releases? Do you think it's up to par with uh, other albums? I honestly, you know, I like some of the stuff that he came out posthumously with, you know. And with the latest release, you know, I kind of feel the same as I felt with, like, a few of the other releases previously, you know. I'm just... I, for one, wonder if he would approve of some of the beats, you know, or this or that. You know, although he would take a lot of beats and try them, he was real experimental with it, pretty much anything. So, 
I can feel that maybe he might, you know, he might go with it. But I question that part of it sometimes. I also, you know, you gotta, you gotta see the fact that like the way that music is today, you know, if, if Pac was around, He'd be like just tearing up some of these people out of here, some of these rappers, some of these artists, you know, some of the content of the music that we're listening to and this and that. You know, there's really no deep content to the music right now. You know what I mean? You know, very rarely do you find that. And I think Pac would have a big thing to say about that if he were alive. And, you know, talking about certain relevant things to today, certain current things, you know, that he could address that he's not able to do because, you know, obviously he's dead and has been, you know, for, you know, 15 years or so. So, you know, that's the problem, you know, with the albums is that they, it's hard for him to stay relevant, you know? Although he's always got so much deep stuff that he just talks about in general that it's tight. But he's not able to really address what's going on now. And I think that it would really have changed music if he were still around because some of this whack that shit that's coming out right now, I don't think would come out if, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't really be popping the same way if Pac were around saying, hold on, man, you really, you guys are really buying that type of thing, you know what I mean? That's how I feel about, you know, the posthumous Tupac stuff, you know? I can't say that I've heard every song off of, on the latest album, but that's how I feel about it in general.